Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about another retinol product. Now I know not too long ago, I just uploaded a video on retinols, retinoids, and retinase, and I talked about the differences between each one, which one is stronger than the other, and what products I'm currently using on my skin. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link that below for you as well as up here if you'd like to check out that video later on. But this product that I'm going to be talking to you guys about today, I did not mention in that video because because I was still in the midst of using the product and I wanted to give it a good length of time before I come on here and give you a final review on the product. So I always like to use a product for a good length of time before I share it with you. So that's what I'm going to be doing today is sharing another retinol product to give you another retinol option to incorporate into your skincare routine. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So of course before we get right into it, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell, that way you're never going to miss any of my future videos on skincare and all things beauty. And I also upload videos every single week. So let's get right into the video. So we're going to be talking about this retinol product today. Now just to give you a little quick little recap, a retinol is a form of a retinoid, which is your vitamin A product. A retinol is a weaker form of vitamin A and your retinoid is the strongest form of vitamin A, which usually has to be prescribed by your doctor or dermatologist, and that is your retin-A, which is your tretinoin. So if you're just starting out and you want to start incorporating a retinol into your skincare routine, you're going to want to start with the weakest form, which is your retinol, and then as your skin becomes accustomed to vitamin A, then you can make your way slowly to a retinoid product, which is your Retin-A. And if you do that, you're going to see less irritation that way. And as you know, a lot of vitamin A products can cause a lot of irritation, dryness, and redness, and that's pretty normal. So you want to start with the weakest form and get your skin accustomed so that you can slowly make your way to the stronger form of a vitamin A product. Now this product that I'm going to be sharing with you is going to be really good whether you are just a beginner or you've been using a vitamin A product for a really long time. This product is called Body Mary, and this is a retinol surge moisturizer. Now, I have been wanting to find a product that I can use down my neck or on my chest or on the tops of my hands that's not going to give me any irritation and dryness. Now, in that video that I recently just uploaded about retinase, retinols, and retinoids, I talked about a drunk elephant product that I'm using, and I'm using the retinol product in the drunk elephant line. Now, I use that once a week, and then I'm using a retin-A, which is your tretinoin, I use that two times a week. Now, when I'm using those products, I cannot use those products down my neck or on my chest. They are just too strong and too potent to put down my neck and my chest. And I want to be able to treat my neck as well as my face when I'm using an anti-aging product like this. You always want to make sure that you're treating your neck as well as your chest. Everything goes together, so you want everything to stay the same and improve together. So I wanted to find something that is milder that I can use on my neck and chest and still still treat those areas as well when I'm treating my face. So I found this product and I was really excited to give it a go. I had no idea whether I was going to react to it or whether I was going to be really good with it. I had no idea. It was just a chance that I took and I'm glad that I bought it because I have not seen any sensitivities on my neck or on my chest. No redness, no dryness, no irritation, no burning, nothing. It's been really, really nice. Now again, this is a retinol moisturizer, so this is a weaker form of vitamin A but this is also even weaker than the Drunk Elephant Retinol product and some other products that I have seen on the market as well. So the retinol is further down in the ingredient list in this product and that is okay because I want something that is weaker and that is mild that I can put on my neck and my chest so that I don't see any irritation. Normally when you're looking for a retinol product you want to make sure that you're finding a product that has the retinol closer to the top of the ingredient list. Usually within the six or seven top ingredients ingredients in an ingredient list. That's going to be your most potent ingredients. So with this product, a lot further down in the ingredient list. And I was okay with that because I wanted something, like I said, that's not going to give me any irritation and that's not going to be too potent on my neck. So this is a very nice product to use on your neck and your chest if you are not able to use a retinol or retin-A on your neck. It's going to be a very great option to use, especially if you're somebody who just can't tolerate those stronger products on other areas of your body. 
body. Now this has hyaluronic acid in it, which you know I absolutely love. This also has vitamin A, vitamins E, and B5, and green tea. So there's a lot of great ingredients in this product that's going to help with hydration, and it's also going to help with calming the skin as well when you're putting this onto your skin. Now this retinol has 2.5% retinol. This has soothing natural antioxidants that work together to visibly reduce the signs of aging. Plant-derived hyaluronic acid hydrates and nourishes your skin. This unique formulation does not only help to provide a flawless tone and texture, but it also leaves your skin feeling and looking smoother. And that is so true. When you put this moisturizer down your neck and on your chest or wherever else you want to put it, you can also put it on your face as well. This is going to make your skin very smooth and very soft without any irritation. Now, of course, everyone's skin's different. So you may see some sensitivities with this product, but for me currently, I am not seeing any sensitivities when I'm putting it down my neck and on my chest. I'm not putting this on my face because I am using stronger vitamin A products like my prescription Retin-A product that I don't need to put this on my face, but this is really nice for the neck and the chest and it does not cause any irritation on me and it really is a nice product to add to your skincare routine for anti-aging. Whether you're starting out or you've been using vitamin A for a very long time, this is really nice to add for the nights that you want to give your skin a break from your higher strength retinoid, you can then go in with this on one night of the week, but this is still giving you a little bit of vitamin A as well, but just at a lower dose. So it's nice to also use as a break as well in between your higher strength retinoid products. Now this can actually be used in the morning as well as nighttime. So I typically don't use this in the morning because I just don't want my skin to be more sensitive to the sun because when it comes to a vitamin A product like a retinol or retinoid, it's going to make your skin more sensitive to the sun and you have to make sure that you're wearing a sunscreen all the time when using higher strength products like that. So I typically don't like to use this in the morning, but I do like to use it at nighttime. And like I said, I put it down my neck and on my chest and for the nights that you don't want to use Use your higher strength retinol and you want to give yourself a break you can also use this instead of that and put it on your face as well so like I said you can use this morning as well as nighttime it's your personal preference you can do whatever you like but you definitely can use it morning and night and it's supposed to be very nice under makeup as well which it says on the back of this bottle here now, if you have normal to oily skin you can actually use this in the morning as well as nighttime every single day and if you have dry to sensitive skin then you can use this just at nighttime every single day. But if you're just starting out and you've never used a retinol product before, don't use it every single day. Only use it a couple of times a week just to see how your skin tolerates to it. And if you see that your skin is good, then start incorporating it every single day, once a day at least to start with. And then if you're good with that, then use it morning as well as nighttime if you wish. But I always recommend to use a vitamin A product at nighttime because you want to use your stronger products at nighttime. That way you don't have to worry about sun exposure, hitting in your face and causing more damage. You're using it at nighttime and then everything just soaks into your skin a lot better while you're sleeping. So now I'm going to show you what this looks like on the back of my hand. Now as you can see here, I just did the smallest little pump on the back of my hand and as you can see, it looks like your traditional moisturizer and when I rub it into my hand, it just quickly absorbs right into my skin. It spreads really nicely and it doesn't feel sticky either, which I really like. The one good thing about this product is that you can really control how much product comes out of this pump. It's very user friendly so they recommend to do one full pump for your face and if it's too much then you can bring it down your neck. You can just do half a pump and you can obviously do less than half which I showed you on the back of my hand. So for those days that you don't feel like using a full pump you can definitely have the control to do a half a pump if you wish. So I really like how you can really control how much product comes out of this container. It really is user friendly and I love that. Now when it comes to using this product you want to make sure sure that this comes after your water-based serums and after your oils. So a water-based serum should always go on first, then your oils, and then your moisturizer, and then your SPF if you're using this in the morning. And your SPF really does lay on top of this really nicely. I don't experience any pilling. It's a really nice combo with my skincare products. So if you're using this in the morning, this comes after your water-based serums, after your oils, and then this goes on, and then your SPF goes on last on top of this. 
Now if you're using this at nighttime, same type of thing, you want to make sure that this goes on after your water-based serums, after your oils if you wish, and this should be your last step in your nighttime skincare routine. This is a very nice option for people who are just starting out and, and for people who can't use the higher strength vitamin A products down their neck. This is going to be a good option for you. At least try it and see if it's going to work for you. It works for me and like I said, the Drunk Elephant and my traditional Retin-A is just way too strong to put down my neck. I don't seem to have an issue with this whatsoever and I really like that. Now the first ingredient I do want to mention to you in this product is aloe vera and then the second ingredient is water. So this has aloe vera in it being your first ingredient and it really is so hydrating on the skin. It really calms the skin and nourishes the skin as well and I think that's another main reason why I got this product because the first ingredient isn't water, it's aloe vera and I really love that and as you know aloe vera is very calming to the skin and has a lot of vitamins in it as well. Now this is very affordable as well. Like I said, this is the larger product, but if you don't want to purchase the bigger bottle, you do have that smaller bottle option as well to try out to see if you like it. And then if you do like it, then you can go ahead and buy the bigger bottle if you wish. But I really like this. I really love how the first ingredient in this is aloe vera. So it's not your traditional water that most products have in their products. So this is a very nice product to add to your skincare routine, whether you're just starting out with the retinol or you just want something that you can put down your neck and on your chest to treat those areas as well for anti-aging and for also skin texture, dark spots, fine lines and wrinkles. Retinol does all kinds of stuff for your skin. It also helps with acne. It helps with a lot of skin issues. So I would highly recommend the Body Mary Retinol Surge Moisturizer. This is really good. It is affordable and I really love this product. So that is everything in today's video and I'm glad that I got this review up for you guys. I really wanted to review this product for you and to give you another retinol alternative and another option to look at in case some of the ones that I've mentioned in the past just weren't for you. Maybe this product might be for you and might be effective for you as well. So if you have any questions, of course, leave them below like you've been doing and I'll definitely get back to you as soon as I can. And of course, I will see you guys in my next video. So take care and we'll see you guys then. Bye guys.